come to change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barrier, 'cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's rap so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rap so deep. Our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world. Rap so deep. Our reality. Has come to change our lives forever. Coming up on Rhapsody of Realities. What God wants to give to you is not money.、Mm. What God wants to give to you is not health.、Mm. What He wants to give you is、it's、the, the word, word of God, God in, in your, your spirit. From January to December, it's been our year of the Word of God. And Rhapsody of Realities has impacted the world immensely this year, 2012. He says, "My sons, attend to my word."、Oh. Knowing that what God says in His word is a now reality,、Absolutely. and the word on your lips is God, God talking. talking. We play by a different set of rules. Yes, we do. The word of God works without fail every time. So I act on that word now. Finish the year on a high note as you join us every day on your favorite devotional program in the month of December. Stay tuned. From the depths of our hearts, we're grateful to you, Lord. You've done so much for us. We have searched all around. There is no one like you. You mean so much to us. You are our refuge and our strength, our ever-present help in time of need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This、yes. is still your favorite daily devotional program. We are grateful to God.、Yes. Today is the last day of the year of the Word. Wow! Year 2012、yes. is coming to an end today. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. We have a lot to thank the Lord for. Yes. The year has been glorious. It has, It has been beautiful,、hmm. and this rhapsody of realities has accomplished so much. Yes. In this year of the Word,、mm. it is indeed the year of the Word, and with the revelation、mm. that we have received in every copy of、wow. the Rhapsody of Realities、mm. from January to December, December, indeed we have a lot to thank the Lord for. That's right. As Pastor Chris would always say, what God wants to give to you is not money.、Mm. What God wants to give to you is not health.、Mm. What He wants to give you is, is the, the word, word of God, God in your spirit. spirit. Because that word will make you what, what it talks, talks about. about, and so we're grateful to God、yes. for the word of God in our spirits.、Yes. How about you?、Mm. I'm still Pastor Nike Binga Kende, and with me is Dickness Beatrice Ononuga, wishing、mm. you a happy, happy new, new year. year. Glory, Glory to, to God. God. Hallelujah. Pastor Nike, it's been absolutely awesome. Yeah. You know, as we're singing that song, I was meditating. He's been our refuge and our strength. He has been. The word that he has given us has been able to build us up、yes. to the next and higher level,、Hallelujah. and it's been absolutely amazing. It has delivered to us、yes. the inheritance that is ours in Christ、Amen. Jesus, and we're still making progress. Yes, our path is a path of the righteous.、Mm. We're still moving forward, advancing on every side,、Amen. and that is where we're even more excited、Praise、about year tw- 2013,、mm. because we know that the glory of the latter. Shall be greater than the former, and we're excited about tonight. Hallelujah! Tonight is the night. Yes, the night we've been waiting for.、Mm. The crossover service with our man of God, Pastor Chris. Awesome night! Amazing. You can hardly wait. There's excitement in, in the, the air. air. We're、Amen. all like 
looking forward to tonight. And our spirits are thirsting for that yes. word. Yes. That is going to make us, you know, perfect in 2013. Amen. That is going to load us with benefits Alleluia. in 2013. Alleluia. That is going to lead us in the path that we should go. Amen. And it's going to make our hands profit Amen. in everything that we do. Amen. Glory to God. Absolutely. Yes. I receive all that and Hallelujah. much more. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wow. Are you ready for today? Guess what? Our message today is about the essence of worship. Mm. This is a day to be full of thanksgiving. Amen. It's a day of singing, a day of rejoicing, rejoicing and celebrating. The Lord has been good to us. And whether or not you can see the goodness, the word of God you have in your spirit is certainly producing results in your life. Amen. You are incubating on something. <laughs> so it's about to come forth. You can rejoice and celebrate it. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wow. Pastor Chris says to us, ministering to the Lord. The, the essence, essence of worship. worship. Glory to God. So join us after the break as we go through today's devotional together. You're welcome to the program. Come, let's celebrate for it's that time of the year again. Join Pastor Chris and members of the Believer's Love World for a special New Year's Eve service on 31st December 2012. Join us as we celebrate the goodness of the Lord in this year 2012 and look forward with great joy and confidence as we enter the new year 2013. You're going to literally find that you are relating with the Word of God as a person. And the Word of God will be manifested unto you, and in you, and through you. Shout Amen, somebody! This service will be broadcast live on this station at the times now displayed on your screen. For more information, please call us now on these numbers, or you can log on to our website. It's a date with destiny. You're welcome back. Today is Monday, the 31st of December, in the year of the word. And Pastor Chris is teaching us today, ministering to the Lord the, the essence, essence of, of worship. worship. The theme scripture is taken from Acts chapter 13, verses 1 and 2. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, hmm. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As they ministered to the Lord and, and fasted, fasted, the Holy Ghost said, this means that as they were ministering to the Lord, and they were fasting, spending time with the Holy Spirit. Mm. The Holy Spirit started speaking to them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I mean, awesome just like what things. the scripture teaches us about fasting. Mm. Fasting is not a day when you're supposed to be doing your own thing and just mm. getting so busy, you know, and not actually having time with the Lord. The essence of fasting is that you actually devote quality time mm. to fellowship with That's the Lord. Right. To minister to Amen. him and you know how it is that a, a waiter a waitress or a waiter you know stands by you to take your order that's right and that's the same thing when we are ministering to the Lord we're listening to take orders take instructions mm. from him wow. and that's exactly what happened here in Acts chapter 13 Glory to as God. they ministered waiting on the Lord the Holy Ghost spoke, spoke. he gave them instructions on what to do next Amen. glory to God let's read what pastor has to say to us pastor says Ministering to the Lord is a very important aspect of our Christian service. Mm -hmm. It's the essence of worship. You'll never know the depth in the spirit beyond the ordinary mm. until you start ministering to the Lord. Ministering to the Lord is something you do consciously, not passively. The first thing to do in ministering to the Lord is to focus your attention on Him in mm -hmm. worship. Mm -hmm. Secondly, Learn to speak words of praise to him from your spirit, Amen. words that extol his majesty. Such praise should have content. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the first thing we need to do in ministering to the Lord is focus our attention on him in worship. 
That means that you're thinking about him. Yes, you're meditating. You're meditating about his awesomeness, his mm. personality, mm. how great he is, how awesome he is mm. to you in your life, what he is to you, to what God. he means to you. Glory to God. And as you focus your attention on him, you now speak words. You bring to him words. Mm. The Bible talks about the calves of our lips, bringing it to the Lord in worship. Mm. And that means that our worship to him shouldn't just be blankets, you know, I praise you, Lord. I yes. praise you, Lord. No. But because you are focused on him mm -hmm. and on his personality, you can take out words to describe to what describe you are perceiving him. of God. Yes. How, what it means to you. Oh, God, you're you, so wonderful. You, you, sure. You're beyond description. Just mm. like David used to yes. do. The Psalms is full of such beautiful words mm. about God. Mm. How David would just sit down and just be reveling mm. in the greatness of God, yeah. in his works, talking about the works of his hands, talking yeah. about the awesomeness of his ways. And that's exactly what Pastor is asking us to do when we're coming when we come to the Lord in, in worship. worship. We bring with us words. Yes, words of praise. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. he describes it in the next paragraph. That's right. He said, for example, simply saying, Lord, I praise you is not enough. You've got to tell him what you're praising him for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell him how wonderful he is. Tell him how loving and kind he is. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor says you ought to give substance to your praises of him. Describe him. Tell him of his goodness. Bring words of praise to him. Amen. Words of exhortation. Hallelujah. So in ministering to the Lord, you focus your attention on, on him. him. And praise Him from, from your, your spirit, spirit with words of worship and thanksgiving. Hmm. Yes, you can thank Him for making you born again. Thank Him for giving you the Holy Spirit. Thank Him for causing His presence hmm. to fill your life. Yes. Thank Him for the revelation of the Word of God hmm. that you are receiving, that is building you up. up. Thank Him for Glory the beautiful things that He has filled your life with. Amen. Glory to God. Hmm. Pastor Chris says the Lord responds to you. When, when you minister, minister to, to him, him like this. this. Awesome. Wow. Glory to God. Because we know our God is a good God. Yes, he is. The thoughts he has towards us. They, they are of thoughts good of good and, not of, and evil. not of evil. So we know that when we spend time with him, only good can come out of Hallelujah. it. He is a great God. Hallelujah. Even if you just meditate on the fact that he created the whole world. Mm -hmm. And when he was done, he said, and it was very good. Hallelujah. It was a beautiful thing he do yeah. did. God is beautiful. He is excellent. Mm. He is perfection. And He's a loving God. He's oh. ready to give His all for us. And He did. And He did. The Bible says He gave Jesus for us. Mm. How much more shall He freely give us all mm. things? The scripture says He daily loads, loads us, us with, with benefits. benefits. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about the fact that the Lord has caused the lines to fall unto us in, in pleasant, pleasant places. places. We have a good, good heritage, heritage of God. That's right. I mean, our lives are made of God. He has mm. predestined us mm. for the good life. That's right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And now as you revel in this, focusing your attention on God, on who he is, mm. let your heart be filled with praise and thanksgiving. Amen. When we come back, we'll continue. Stay tuned.